Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Space Disharmony. I'm Tektos and we are in episode number 7 of our playthrough with the Craver Race. Now, where we last left off, um, things were getting heated a little bit since the Cravers are expanding towards us and I really, really want to secure the borders. But our fleet is still tied in sieging the Pilgrims because the Pilgrims apparently built some kind of defense on their homeworld. <sighs> it's still annoying. <laughs> they built some kind of defense on their home planet, which added an additional 8 turns of invasion time, which is great, because we have to keep our fleet here and we can't reposition to our borders, and we really need to do that. The Cravers are already sending their scouts. They have colonies um, behind the wormholes now. Uh, this one is not in their wormhole contained area, the Takim. And they're also one I wanted to settle on. So, uh, there's that. Yeah, we really need... We got one border kind of locked down with this um, this new fleet that we built. Uh, I don't think they are equipped to deal with the cruisers yet. The, at least not from what we scouted from the Cravers. But still, we need more fleets. We need to start fighting them soon because they're catching on in points. And I don't want that. So, that's the tactical situation here. Um, now we got the amoeba they're trying to settle here and they can't uh, yeah I'm just gonna keep their ship trapped like that and they can rot there until they attack us so anyway let's take a quick inventory shall we uh, not much has changed I think we are producing a lot of dust because our fleet is really expensive and it's gotten a little more expensive since the freaking pilgrims forced us to get more sieging ships that are on the way here but they're still gonna take one two three four turns if it's even is it four turns yep it's four turns so in four turns we can yeah we maybe save like two turns with that action like get another 2.8 K added on top of our already 5.7 K so yeah, maybe we can shave off two turns Okay, we got an idle fleet here. Yeah, that's our hive ship. That's hopefully going to survive this turn. Um, Tech-wise, I didn't make changes. We got a plan and we are sticking to it. Um, still getting those those um, hyperscale farms and intense cultivation logistics. And then finally we're going to get back to weapon techs. Because we really need that um, against the Cravers. I feel we have a little tech advantage on them, but... Um, it's not gonna last long, so we need to act quick. Did I already mention that we can't act quick because of this green pestilence here? The, 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 ah. Uh. <laughs> anyway. Okay, enough moaning. Let's get to it. Why do I always say moaning when I mean whining? Maybe it's a Freudian thing. I don't know. Okay, so we got this guy who's um, still, or this, whatever that is. Um clone I think who is still a planetary commander huh now what does he need to do I think well let's take a quick look the administrator doesn't have that much of um, science bonus I don't think yeah we pretty much exhausted the usefulness um, I we could turn him into a food enhancing monster but really what good will that do um, most of our systems are already fully settled I guess we do that because we will move him off our homeworld once the homeworld will get shitty because we used it up so we can use him to pump up new colonies guess it's a way of looking at it so yeah let's just go towards that and uh, yeah, Kurha is coming along nicely. They already have 34 production output, which is quite nice for a system that young. And they're able to produce an uh, infinite supermarket on their own. That's also quite nice. Um, after that, well, no, after that, we're going to get the public private partnerships and then the extreme option exchanges. And from there on, uh, we shall uh, see. Okay take this turn now we can finally chase off the scout I think and we'll do just that mm, 
long range whatever 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 just get basic and in case they fight back because it's just one on one okay that's great uh, now you will settle here um, what's that friendly local system was the one I wanted I think yeah because it's a tundra system too so let's get that mm, tundra exploitation uh, is the geo-industrial plants no doubt because it's gonna give us plus two for planet and plus one for tundra so that's and it's also cheap so we just buy it after that more production I guess you know the drill by now uh, Minus 10 happiness. Yeah, that's really sucky. But we, th I think we can remove that by now. Or in at least in one turn. No, we can already remove it. Which brings me to another point. We need to look through our systems. Oh, so much to do. So little time. Okay, we got production here. Um, now, what do we want to produce? Do we need food enhancements? Hmm, probably not on this system. Probably not. Plus two for Terran. Plus one for Tundra. Hmm. Yeah, probably we are fine like this. They can grow at their own pace. Uh, get some more cash. Get the, oh wait, before we do anything of the sort, we need some happiness. And uh, after that, the extreme exchange is gonna pay for itself and that's it just leave them here and I'm gonna leave one ship just so no scout comes along and oh wait I'm not gonna leave it here I'm gonna leave it here uh, who are you scouting okay um, yeah just have the scout patrol here and I think we're gonna put our newly acquired hero because we have three heroes now one of them is a craver and Oh, I just I used that portrait by the way for my um, thumbnails. It's really a nice piece of art. Really nice. Um, wh what would I want to do? Assign to fleet, and we got one fleet. Where is it? Here, the Epsilon system, I think. Fatia, yeah, here. Can can't we assign a hero just from here? Change. Yep, we can. Okay. Assign to fleet. And take a look at him. Can we enhance? No, we can't. But that picture is really one of my favorite ones. Just a great art style. And a kind of alien race that you don't really see that often. And this hero also is a commander and a pilot. So he's a complete fleet combat specialist. Which is great. I hope we get another one so we can fire one of those two idiots. The, the L, label, label, whatever. And... Mr. Mrs. Clone Exorus 3534 F. Yeah, don't want to keep those around. I guess they're useful for the start, but mm, I need more fleet commanders. Uh, okay, what did I want to do? Nothing. I wanted to take turns, so get some progress in here. Okay, uh, ah, finally, so we can get to weapon techs. That's good. And we got some more production buildings, move some stuff around. Okay, now we can now start, and we will now start, um, the moon survey and anomaly reduction process. Uh, another moon survey. Okay, we have two surveyed moons. We can get then more food per moon surveyed, but we don't need that. So let's just stick to that. Let's take a look here. We got another moon to survey in this one. Whoops, like this. They also don't need more food, I guess. Maybe. Nah, they don't need more food. They're fine. They're just there to improve some um, some dust output and a little science. They're not really not really contributing to our production overall. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're done here. Um. Speaker system. Oh, nice. They have two moons. So one, two. Because it's really hard to find useful stuff on moons. So, they also don't need food. Uh, corona, hello, hello. Now they did have some, yeah, how do we gonna do that? First, survey some moons. Uh, we still don't have the tech for this, and we need Ciderite and Orcalic. Or Celtics, 
I guess. Wow. Um, yeah, we get the moon survey and transform the aurora wave. And that's it. Okay, so this system can produce some more science. Small and small. We have two small systems. I guess it's worth it to get this. Yeah. Um, what else? Nothing else, I guess. We're fine here. Um, and the other systems, they don't have enough output. I guess we can take a look here. No moon, okay. They don't have enough production output to be considering um, serving moons and then removing anomalies. It's not really relevant for them. For now, at least. Later, of course, but not for now. Okay, empty moon. Who would have thought? <laughs> it's really hard to find stuff on moons. That is useful. Ah, one more turn for our reinforcements. And if they build anything else, I'm gonna throw this computer out of the window. No, I won't, but it's gonna make me mad. Just die. They, they don't have fleets, they don't have nothing, they have no chance of coming back. Just don't make life hard for me. Come on. Okay, they are still trapped here. The amoeba should start fighting the cravers, because they are weaker than we are, at least on paper. And they're the immediate neighbors. Why are you not... Huh. Oh, anyway, who cares. Um, I just don't want to have a three-front war, because that could get a little hairy. <laughs> Definitely a little hairy. Okay, um, we got some more fleet command cap. That's sweet. Empty moon, empty moon, and empty moon. Yeah, <coughs> as expected, but we are just... Ah, finally. Oh, and it gives us just one turn. Because they are so tough. <sighs> okay, three more turns. Hopefully they can bend over after those three turns. And we can finally remove our fleet. And... Uh, Go for the Aqu Aquarius system, I think is the next one that I'll get. Uh, what's that? Yeah, they have a Terran, some more blue cap mold, and some titanium. I think with that one we will have a monopoly on titanium. No? Yes? Maybe? I think so. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't even look. Yeah. No, we, we won't have a monopoly, but this system also... No, it didn't. Which one was it? Ah, huh. I thought we have one. Is it here? No, we settled here already. Oh, it's the ETA system. Yeah, okay. Okay, I knew there's one more system with uh, titanium on it. I just wasn't sure which one it was. Now, we could also get this large tundra system, just so we have it under our belt. Uh, actually, it's a decent system here. Just a lot of unhappiness with the arctic and lava. Um, and the seismic activity. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe not yet. It's a decent system to get. Especially with the big tundra planet and the large lava planet. They're gonna be uh, strong in production. But uh, we need a little more tech and a little more cash to um, kickstart them. Because they really have a lot of unhappiness going. So that's that. And it, they're safe embedded in our... Uh, empire anyway so that's okay we already got that system in the back um, you don't want to go too early for systems that you don't need for now just because the cravers have that early boost and later um, decrease in overall production so you want to take that into account at least i wanna well what's what's <sighs> just just go go away I don't like you anymore. Here, just... Wow, they have 500 fighting strength? Really? Um, What's their weapons? Yeah, it's all kinetic weapons anyway. Who gives a crap? Some barrier here, some magnetic fields here. Goodbye. Yeah, some more damage. Okay. Whoop, boop, 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 boop. Okay, let's take one after the other. Now we're gonna level you up one. Plus 200 defense on star system, not really. Um, but I think we are out on useful 
useful stuff. So I'm just going to go for the defender and then for the team spirit. So that's this. And then we have some more science. We need to, yep, we need to get some more. So let's go for the flat out science bonus here. And afterwards, we should finally go for some troops. They're up here. Now I definitely need this dust to dust. Because I want to scrap the systems of the pilgrims. At least two of those colonies. They're just really useless. Um, so I'm just rather get the dust out of them. And don't bother with the unhappiness. Siege artillery. Huh, not really that useful for now. Yeah, let's just leave it like that. Okay, you're done. A deal proposed. Cease fire. How about I refuse? How about that? Okay, all factions sleeping war machines. What's that event? Explorers have found a frozen exoplanet full of weird machines of unknown origin. While it's hard to tell if these are tools of the endless or some other even more some other even more alien civilization. Can you be more alien? I guess you can. Uh, scientists are in agreement that the machines were built for destruction. Mm, that's interesting. Since the planetary body is not a part of a currently claimed system and seems not worth colonizing, every faction has equal right to it, and thus every faction is affected. Um, it seems a bonus overall, though. So how do we deal with that? We could be selfish. 100% siege and 20%... Wow. Okay, that sounds really good. 100% um, more sieging uh, stuff. <laughs> and um, yeah, we only have one siege fleet, so they're going to be double the strength. And 20 turns probably is enough to eradicate those, mm, uh, those, those pilgrims. I barely managed to escape a swear word there. Helpful... Yeah, everybody's get plus 30%. No, 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 we don't want that. And we could just give everybody, for all other empires, we could get minus 20 science output. That is also very interesting. Very, very interesting. But I think I'm going to go for selfish, um, because just it offsets the hostile option, if anyone chooses it. And uh, we get a nice sieging bonus, and that's what I want. So let's go for that. A couple of anti moons, okay. Um, stuff happening, okay. We didn't research anything of usefulness. Um, we do definitely need more money. I forgot that in the tech tree. So after some weapons, we go for the optimized logistics. Okay. Now, what else? Um, we moved every ship. We are two turns away from taking over the home planet. Oh, finally. So uh, let's let's take those turns. I want to see the pilgrims. Okay, what do we get? Plus 30, plus 30, minus 20. So two races picked the plus 30 overall science. And uh, one race picked the minus 20. I picked the plus 20. And plus 100% fleet. Uh, plus 100% sieging power on the fleet. Wow, 17,000. Yes, 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 yes. We need to get. We need to get sieging, um, because all the other races don't have that. They just have science bonus, and uh, we have the sieging bonus. So um, just go, <coughs> go around, take the Aquarius system, and destroy that. And from there on, we will see. Anyway, take a quick inventory here. Huh, the Aquarius system is really good. Yeah, they're already self-sustaining. Huh. They are really nice. I'm really glad I did grab that. Now we can get more Hyperion. That's plus two. We already have two. So that's going to make our... Yeah, we're going to get a Monopoly, which make will make our ships that utilize Hyperion cheaper by 30%. That is quite the bonus. Uh, no, he's not here. Um, so we should probably soon go for this arid system. But they have minus 5 happiness. Yeah, I guess we could offset that. Minus 5 is not that bad. Really not that bad. I wonder if you 
should maybe start colonizing the arid and only grab the um, the better planet once the colony is already established because this improvement is going to be in effect longer and, and basically going to help you more because of the happiness problem oh well I guess it's fine the way I did it um, okay because we need those systems in the front anyway now I think it's time well not yet but instead of building um, building more food production system here I think I will just relocate the hero from our home planet to this system here and give them some boost because they're near the border anyway and the home planet is strong enough in production as is and we won't get any bigger ships anytime soon our fleet is decently sized so it's good if we can have two systems that can steadily output the cruiser type ship yeah that sounds okay get the endothermic structures to increase the small planet just by one because the arid is decent as well <laughs> what else um yeah nothing else it's fine any news here no nope. infinite supermarkets still quite a ways away oh yes one turn away from taking the home planet take it take it yes <laughs> finally oh gosh that was a that cost me some nerves okay we're gonna produce this guy just so we have some output uh, some influence radius here they already have gas planets that they can colonize wow so they're gonna be freaking unhappy <laughs> and there's probably not much we can do minus 25 oh that's okay i guess yeah why are you stuck on this system just put put stuff here hyperscale farms word no 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 don't don't do that get more production i think also survey that moon do that thing um what else oh we got another moon here mm. yeah i guess on jungle it's okay so we can leave the hyperscale farms here but on an arid system we want to have uh, either science or dust and since we are quite dust starved i'm gonna just buy this because it's big enough to make uh, to make an impact basically uh, okay oh, what's that yeah it's gonna be plus three per pop and that's gonna be two four five three times five is a lot of dust 15 okay uh, we got newer missiles so uh, let's let's do some retrofitting shall we uh, yeah I wanted to remove the siege X but can't by now auto upgrade do we have some room for uh, not really let's just stick like that grasshopper uh, not gonna improve that the rocket boat I'm gonna improve uh, just auto upgrade it for yeah we can't really what Why don't we have the strategic resource for this? Oh, because it's level two. Do we have, um, what's that? <sighs> what is that? Um, we didn't even research that yet. So maybe we should. Maybe we should. Yeah, it's here. Number six. Huh, I'm not even sure if I need the intelligent tools actually. What's that now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's no good. One, two. Actually, one, two, three. Why do we need that? I don't. One. No. One, two three four five six and from there on 
yeah from there we will see okay um we got two idle fleets and one is our sieging fleet and we'll just send them down here and get the query system as fast as we can because we get 20 turns of this nice 100 percent sieging bonus and i <laughs> yeah we also relocate the troops a little bit so um they can keep this hydel system that's fine that is actually fine and we're maybe oh how do we do that the delphinus system so i'm gonna create two and one okay so the one is gonna go down here one two fleets gonna go up here and all the rest go to Quarius and we reorganize there so because Quarius, um for one it's the system i want to siege anyway and also it's the bordering system towards the cravers so that serves two purposes and i'm just going to park two missile ships on those two colonies of the pilgrims even though the colonies suck they still can maybe get a little bit you know just get a ship out here and just annoy us steal one of our colony ships whatever why take the risk right if you have the option to be safe you can take it okay that's looking good so far at least it's looking good in a sense that those pilgrims are finally finally killing over uh, we got antimatter in the colony uh, in the galaxy and got it on two systems that's good that's also good uh corona get more production yes please uh, do we need more influence in corona Well, probably not. Probably not. Um, and after that, we surveyed the moons already. Ah, I really want to get back to ship production. Why, why can't we? Oh, yeah, because we need hexaforum. Uh, yeah, just give us more dust. We have a... Yep, 160 per turn. That's good. Set is very good. Okay, uh, you, sir, also get that. And you also get that. Okay, uh, anyone else? Yep, here we also need that. Okay. Unhappy, that's not good. We give you a little boost. And afterwards get more production. Maybe do it like this. Okay, we are set up for that. This is empty. Move our ships. Looking good. Who are you? 180, 270, yeah, it's fine. See, that's what I mean. I don't want those random rogue um, pilgrim fleets to make our life hard. So we will deal with that. Actually, what am I doing? I need some fleets here. Ah, <sighs> messed that up again, but that's fine. Okay. Yeah, now have our ships move down a little more. Okay, um, stuff is getting built. Okay, and just deal with that guy. Yep, that's fine. Just go the regular tactics like this. Barrier up. And magnetic fields, and they should die easily. Oh, they didn't. They went defensive the entire way through. Oh, whatever. We're going to get them next turn um, because it's just one ship. And we are going to kill them in the long range phase anyway. You are going to blockade. <sighs> oh, right. They have a system here. Pirates. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That, that is not good. Uh, okay, so this looks like some interesting developments. Um, I completely forgot that there's a system down here. Completely forgot that. So they're probably producing stuff there. And uh, also we have a pretty strong pirate fleet here. 236, which is pretty decent for pirates. As we learned in the last playthrough, they uh, they do a lot more damage than you expect. So they can mess up, mess up us. No, mess us up pretty badly but that's okay 
otherwise it would be boring we're already in the lead by uh, some point 80 overall so yeah i think that's a good point to take a break and so i will if you like what you saw um, let me know also if you have some strategic advice uh, i'd also be happy to to hear that or just some alterations for gameplay if you do some stuff differently yeah just get into a discussion i i like that because um, i want to ramp up the difficulty eventually the game gets just more fun the the harder it gets basically if you're just barely winning that's the most the most fun feeling at least for me that is anyway thanks for watching and i uh, just have a really great day and see you next time bye <laughs>